Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Eric for present and you know the drill, your one-stop shop for five VR stories you missed over the past couple of days. And today we're gonna talk about an Oculus Quest giveaway going on, Oculus Link in the news, maybe coming really, really soon. Some delayed games for every major headset, including the Oculus Quest and a lot more in this video. Thank you all for the amazing positive comments on the last video. The pistol whip key has been given out, although no one's claimed it yet, so please check your email, y'all. Otherwise, I'm gonna go to the next person on the list. And lastly, make sure to leave a like for this video because I lied earlier. There are not five stories, there are six. We have extra bang for your buck. That's called value, and that deserves a like. As always, though, we get into the news quick here. Cheers. As always, we start the news with a few game quickies because who doesn't like a quickie? And our first story is a two-parter, so double quickie action. In part one, Synth Riders launched recently on the Oculus Quest and we have another rhythm game getting us sweating and I always want to highlight the games that combine entertainment with fitness. Synth Riders is a dance action rhythm game where you'll experience incredible music in a whole new way as your arms soar when riding the unique rail system and your body moves to carefully crafted maps. This leads us to part two of this double feature. Upload VR has partnered with the developers of Synth Riders and are hosting an Oculus Quest giveaway. I know many of you express your want of one in the comments, so I want to highlight this and hurry because you only have a few days to enter as of the release of this video. There are 10 ways to gain entry into this, and of course, links will be in the description. But in reality, at the time of filming, under 8,000 entries have been entered, and in the grand scheme of things, that's not bad odds. So maybe Christmas will come early for you, and I'll be trying to rig the polls for hoping one of y'all watching and subscribing here will win. Good luck, y'all. In the last bit of direct game news before our main stories today, November 7th is going to be a busy day not only with Pistol Whip launching, but whatever Beat Saber has up their sleeves as well. On November 1st, Beat Saber tweeted a cryptic message with a red tilting cube in a moving background. While nothing has been confirmed out there yet, there are some theories that are just plain fun to share, and I want to hear what you think down in the comments. Some think there may be a new block modifier coming, a block that slightly moves leading to more precision needed for optimal scoring. Some think that the wanted 360 degree mode, something that will be Oculus Quest specific, will be launched. While this is possible, a developer from Beat Games has strongly hinted at a December release date for that. While most likely from a source I cannot confirm if true, we are likely to just be getting a specific release date for the 360 degree mode, but personally I'd love to see maybe a 180 or less degree mode launched early with 360 mode later on. Let me know what your guess is, and if right, maybe I can scrounge up a reward for you. In the first of two Oculus Link stories, stay tuned for the last story for the second part, let's talk about a surprise and most likely error in an Oculus Quest listing and launch that may give us the date for the Oculus Link beta. Oculus Link, for those new to VR, welcome to the fam by the way. Oculus Link is a software update coming for the Oculus Quest that will allow Quest owners with a VR-ready PC to use their Quest as an Oculus Rift, while tethered by a cord to their computer. Recently, an Oculus Rift Home app appeared on the Oculus Quest store. This app was downloadable to some, and while those with it mostly could not open it, some people were actually able to open it with mixed results. This was quickly removed from the Oculus Quest store, but on the listing was a November 11th release date for Oculus Rift Homes, which is very hard to reason how it could not be an indicator for an imminent release date for the Oculus Link beta at or around November 11th. We know at OC6 it was announced to release sometime in November, and while we'll run through the Rift S app, this seems the likely step to bridge the Oculus Link. One thing we know for sure though, there is still a great deal of confusion on the Oculus Link, something that we're going to discuss for the last story of the day because it is needed to be said. But before that, Black Friday is coming around the corner and will be an interesting event to watch. For the first time, we have an abundance of mainstream headsets that have had some time in consumers' hands already, and it will be interesting to see if VR tries to double down for the holiday season. While we have no word on Oculus Quest sales, and if you want my honesty, I think we are very unlikely to see any Oculus Quest hardware sales anytime soon, but we do already have a Lenovo Rift, I mean uh, Oculus Rift S sale directly from Lenovo. On Lenovo, the Oculus Rift S is listed $50 off, going for $350. We are likely to see this deal come to all major retailers, including Oculus, Best Buy, Amazon, and more. While the Rift S has had a very rocky history, I'll bite the bullet and say for $350, those with a VR-ready rig, it is a steal of a deal for those wanting to get into VR. While the Oculus Link will work for many, Visually, the Rift S is still an upgrade, tracking improvements are there over the Quest, and comfort is of course better. I'm glad to see it is on sale and think it will be a great way to get more people into VR. Let me know what sales you're hoping for though for Black Friday down in the comments. Another bonus breaking news story that I had to share today, yes that's right, that's 6 stories overall today. Espire 1, a single player VR experience focusing on stealth, espionage, and action that utilizes an arsenal of weaponry and gadgets 
to ensure mission completion in the shortest time possible is still on delay. After being delayed numerous times after a pre-order campaign, the SBR1 Twitter account tweeted this. In the words of someone much better than I, a rushed game is bad forever, but a delayed game is eventually good. I'm rooting for the latter half to be true here and hope to see this game launch well, but I have my concerns after so many delays, but I'm more interested to hear what your thoughts are on this. What are your concerns? Do you think this game has what it takes to still be a good VR title? Let me know down in the comments. And for our final story, it's less of a story, kind of a fireside chat, y'all. I want to give a lot of attention to Upload VR. They did a tremendous job writing together an article on everything you need to know about the Oculus Link before it arrives this month sometime. One question I got basically throughout the comments, the last video and previous videos as well, DMs directly to me in Discord and on Twitter, it seems to be not common knowledge, you do indeed need a VR ready PC to use the Oculus Link. The Oculus Link will be a free update to all Oculus Quest users sometime in November. However, although a USB-C cable will be available to use, you do still need a VR-ready machine to use it. I know many say that's common knowledge, but I get the question asked so many times, I do want to make sure it's clear. You do need a VR-ready PC to use the Oculus Link. However, I would strongly recommend to check the description, go to the Upload VR article. There is a ton of info, a ton of info of everything you're going to need to know to use the Oculus Link properly. And I want to clear that up because we could be getting that update any day now, and you need to know that to make sure you make the right choices for you. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for the amazing, amazing support lately. It really, it makes my day. Make sure to leave a like to support this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an upload. As always, I'm Eric for President, and I'll see you on the next one, VR Space Cowboys. Cheers.